How crazy is the sun, the earth, and weather? So crazy, we got super rare, never heard of before by me, blue auroras. And that's cool. Blue is my favorite color. Hit the button, baby. Party dance time. Got for me. An update. Good morning, folks. Are you cool? Hey, everybody. It's your head jump. Eyes to the skies. Because I'm going to be dropping some hard Thor News science upon you. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents. All right. Northern lights are usually green and sometimes red, plus purple and white. Those are the colors produced by oxygen when it is extracted, I mean excited, by electrons raining down from space. I don't believe that crap. You can believe it if you want. I think auroras are way cooler than that. Like, it could be God trying to send us messages, or the sun using us as like a chalkboard trying to send us messages. Anywho, those are the colors produced by oxygen when it is excited by electrons raining down from space. On April 22nd, Didier, Lindsay. Oh my god, little Didier's gonna fly. Didier, Lindsay of Fox, Alaska, witnessed an apparition of blue aurora. That's cool, man. I wanna see auroras. I wanna lay down with my chick drinking whiskey, smoking a fatty, staring up at the sky, watching the stars and the auroras. Yeah, we all got dreams. But anyway, little Dieter witnessed an apparition of aurora blue. Hours before he took the picture, a CME struck Earth's magnetic field, igniting a G2-class geomagnetic storm. The sky filled with very active auroras, Lindsay says, including these rare blues. And in auroras, blue is a sign of nitrogen. Energetic particles striking ionized molecular nitrogen at very high altitudes produces a cold azure glow of the type captured in Lindsay's photo. Why it rivaled the usual hues of oxygen on April 22nd is unknown. Auroras still have the capacity to surprise. No shit, Sherlock. We don't know much about auroras or solar physics, even though we act like we do. <sighs> Maybe it's because, just like Mars, the sun is stripping off our atmosphere because our magnetic shield is weakening, or because the poles are shifting. Who knows? Any auroras tonight, blue or otherwise, would be a surprise. Geomagnetic conditions are quiet as the solar wind relaxes into a steady breeze of low-speed plasma. NOAA forecasters estimate a scant 10% chance polar geomagnetic storms on April 29th. Sweet. There you go. How crazy is the weather and the sun? It's rare blue aurora crazy. Remember, the sun freaks out, earth weather freaks out, and people freak out. And the sun has been freaking out. Yes, it has. And I got another video on that. Problem is, it's like, since I hadn't done a sun video in a long time, I pulled so much data, I got like 40 minutes of me talking about it, you know? So I got cut it all down to where it's good, to like three eight-minute parts. Anywho, I will take a look at some auroras, and then... I'll get out of here because I got other videos I got to work on, man. All right. The sun blew the atmosphere blue. Yeah, it's true. Okay, now just as an extra bonus, we'll just check it out over here and see what we got. We got some iridescent clouds. We got some high altitude clouds. All right, that was a waste of time. Shake your thing out. Do what you want to do. I can't tell you who's shocking to. Shake your thing out. Do what you want to do. All right, I'm just talking to talk, I guess. Okay, sweet. Adios. All right, a magnetic storm possible this week. A filament of magnetism on the sun exploded on April 30th, hurling a CME into space. It said it could deliver a glancing blow on May 3rd, but maybe it got here two days faster than I thought. High latitude sky watchers should be alert for such auroras. Sweet. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's our answer. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's our answer. Awesome.